Welcome to my madness, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be taking a look at Corsair from Marvel Legends. Um, I picked this guy up. He was honestly really the only figure in this entire line that I was interested in. I saw the whole line sitting at Target and just none of them did anything for me except for this one. And this is one of the ones that I knew from the minute it was announced. I knew this was one that I was going to pick up. And so here we have him now real quick we'll go over accessories and he does come with a couple of fisted hands here he has trigger hands on him right there and then of course he does come with his gun and his sword and he's got a nice belt there that gives him a spot to hold his sword no holster though which is kind of a disappointment but you also do get of course the showed build a figure piece you get the right arm there honestly the showed Build-A-Figure is the only other figure in this wave that I really cared about, but I don't want to buy the entire wave to get him. So, for now, we're just dealing with this. So, let's look at the figure itself here. And this is the Vulcan body, which, you know, supposedly is the new go-to body for a lot of Marvel Legends, although we haven't seen it that much yet. But it's a good solid body, and I do think it's perfect for Corsair. I think that's a good choice, and I like it quite a bit. And again, if you're doing any kind of comparisons here, you know, with this body, I mean, there's not any detail on the sculpt itself. You know, it's just the flat body. We do get cuffs on the arms. We do get the belt. We get the head. And on this particular figure, you do get the collar that's on there. And it all looks great. Everything's well done. Um, you know, nice, simple sculpt on the body, but I think they did a good job. Head sculpt looks really good, although I do wish... This bandana stuff like hung down more, which an easy fix, but for now it's kind of just sticking up out there in the air. And then of course we do get a nice logo on the front, which is nice and crisp. That's really the only paint on the figure at all. But again, everything else pretty simple because it's just that kind of plain Vulcan body. But the question being is, does it work for the character? And I think it absolutely does. It definitely works for the character and the add-ons here and there with the cuffs and the belt and the collar. It does a really good job of evoking what this character is supposed to look like. And I think they did solid work here, even though it, uh, you know, probably didn't take a much to do it. It looks really good. And I really kind of dig this figure. Now, as far as articulation goes, it is the Vulcan body. So you get the standard Vulcan Marvel Legends articulation. Uh, but, you know, sculpt is what it is. Simple but effective. The paint is good, done where it is, which isn't a lot of paint on this figure. But where it's done, it's done well. You don't see those differences between, like, the molded plastic in red and the painted areas and things like that. So there's nothing that stands out about it being like a different color. Uh, the shades of red across the figure all match, which is nice because a lot of times on these figures, they don't when you have the difference between painted and molded. So I think they did a good job there. All in all, it's a great figure. It's a simple figure, but it's a solid figure and I think is perfect for this character. So we're going to throw up a couple comparisons here real quick just to see how this guy stacks up and go from there. And because we have to compare him with his sons, of course, Vulcan and Cyclops here. And obviously, same body as with the Vulcan. Obviously, this is the older, quote-unquote, Jim Lee-style Cyclops here on the Bucky Cat body, which I actually still really like this figure, although I would like to upgrade at some point to the newer figure that is on the Vulcan body, because I think that makes more sense, that father and son and brother are all done on the same buck. But either way... I think these still look really good together, and Corsair looks fantastic with his two boys. And so, of course, we got to compare him to at least one kind of cosmic X-Men character, and the only one that I have currently, because they really haven't made a lot of them, is, of course, Gladiator there on the left in all his massive Superman wannabe mohawkedness. Is that a word? Mohawkedness? I don't know. It is now, so that's all that matters. And then, of course, we've got X-Factor Havoc. Of course, my favorite Summers brother and Corsair's other son. And you know what? He just, he looks great here. I mean, he just, with the red and the black and the porn stash and the headband and everything, Corsair just looks fantastic with these two. 
All right, so now let's talk about price here. And this guy goes for $25. Question being, is it worth it? And the answer is yes. Yes, it is. I mean, look, there's not a lot going on here. Pretty simple buck, pretty simple paint, good articulation. But this is a character we haven't gotten before. And it's a character that I, for one, and a lot of people I know are really happy to have. And it's a well-done version of this character. It is everything you need for a good Corsair. And I honestly couldn't be happier with it. There's not really much you could have done to this figure to make it better. So really, yeah, it's it's definitely worth it. But um, look, I, you know, when it comes right down to it, it's personal preference, okay? That's ultimately what it is. If you don't care about Corsair, or you don't like the Vulcan buck, or whatever it is, then obviously no, it's not worth it for you. But I think he looks pretty damn good, and I'm very, very happy to finally have a good Corsair figure. And uh, hopefully someday, I'll get to throw together some other Star Jammers and get a nice little display going. For now, this is where we start, and I'm happy with it. So... That is it, guys. Would love to hear what you think about this guy right here in the comment section down below. Let me know. Thank you for watching, and always remember to enjoy your collection.